What's up YouTube? Back at it again. So let's first get started by propping up this. And I'm gonna disconnect the battery, which I've already done. Just 10 millimeter bolt, loosen the ground. And then I'm pretty much propped up the, the driver's side again, the driver door. Pump the brakes just to kind of make sure that uh, all the power is gone. And then I unbolted the four bolts that connected the driver's seat and disconnected the set the wiring. Uh, I think this is just a seat belt sensor. So I don't think I needed to disconnect the battery because of the airbag line, but I did it anyway, just in case. <clears throat> Brought it over here. And we're gonna do the same thing we did the passenger seat but this one might need more help because you can see that there's padding missing but I think this is only on the surface I don't think it's actually in the foam itself from the car seat but this one actually went through so we're gonna have to do some seat repair here there's the driver's side bolster this one looks okay so we're gonna Pretty much take off the seat covers, and then let's get get the uh, the replacement one installed. Uh, so 30 minutes to an hour later, pretty much took it off the rails. There's the headrest right there. Took off the bottom panel and the backrest, and here they are in their foam section foam sections. So this part, which is the bottom seat cushion looks in pretty good condition no major foam damage but however so here is the backrest portion and you can tell that the bolsters are really really messed up so I have some filler to put in right here right here uh, this one looks like it's already been repaired reinforced um, nothing along the sides but then there's this section right here that I need to kind of glue back that way. And then, that should be it. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. What's up guys? I just finished the driver's side seat. And I finally got the headrest wrap cover on. That one usually is more difficult than the rest of the seat because I got the hang of the hog rings and the uh, ironing and all that stuff. I actually took the foam out of my Pelican case and just kind of like stuffed it in there just to retain its shape uh, so there's less sag. And I think that's gonna work because it has some pretty good good density so tomorrow morning I'll wake up and put this in the car but I gotta actually cut the holes right here so I could put that on what's up YouTube it's morning again I actually went ahead and reinstalled the driver's side seat so let's go ahead and take a look inside and see how it turned out She is. So now both driver's side and passenger side have both been repaired or recovered or rewrapped, whatever you want to call it. And for the first time using a hog ring plier and ever rewrapping a pair of seats, I think it turned out pretty well and you know I'm pretty content with how it looks and how it turned out. So the interior pretty much looks and feels a little bit more refreshed. I went ahead and also changed up the shift knob because that one uh, is less prone to heat. So you know the car sits outside of my driveway so I always burn my palm whenever I, I, I get in the car and start it and drive off. Uh, but Delrin uh, apparently does not get hot and it stays cool to the touch. So yeah, interior looks almost completely refreshed. Until next time, peace.